man is using his passion project to find answers in another cold case hundreds of miles away in Knox County. The victim is known as the redheaded Jane Doe and her murder captivated the community nearly 33 years ago. Today, by way of a podcast, Connor McHugh joined Shane Waters in his pursuit for justice. How old did you say you were? Shane Waters is on a mission today. Did you actually attend the funeral? That brought him hundreds of miles away from his home in Indiana. That kind of thing didn't happen in Barbersville. No, no, it's a very rare occurrence. You know, it's a sleepy little town. Waters is a podcaster, and his latest project focuses on six murder victims from the 1980s, including the woman buried right here. Does the community still think about it? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a common story that... I guess anybody my age or above would remember. She's known as the red-headed Jane Doe. 33 years ago, newspapers reported she was asphyxiated and left in a refrigerator in the woods. The story touched the people of Knox County so much, they gave her a funeral. The people from that area at that time knew that she was a person. And no matter what her background or history was, that she deserved to be remembered. For his next episode, Waters wanted to learn as much as he could from where it all happened. I think if it was a local, they wouldn't have brought her here, knowing that someone would find her. Scott Klaus served as tour guide to the tragedy his town is still trying to comprehend. They want to see this solved, and the, the only way to be able to do that is pass the memory of the case down. Waters' task is a tough one. She deserves a name and she deserves justice for her case. He hopes to find both of those in this journey. Covering the news in Knox County, Connor McHugh, LEX 18 News.